Hey, I've got a question for you. When you hear the term AdWords, what do you think of? If you're like most people, you think it's either complicated or expensive. But AdWords doesn't have to be complicated or expensive at all. You can have a daily budget as little as a dollar a day. And with the right strategy, you can stretch that dollar 5, 10, even 20 times as far as if you set up your campaign improperly. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, I want to make sure we're on the same page. This website is strictly dedicated to people who are new to pay-per-click advertising. So if you're looking for advanced tactics, you might get a little bored with this video. My sole purpose is to stick with the basics to make sure people new to AdWords or who have lost money in the past with AdWords can feel confident that they can set up an account properly, ensuring that they stretch their dollar as far as possible. If you're looking for more advanced tactics, head on over to my blog at 2020ppc.com. Okay, on with the video. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up an account with the highest odds of success possible. Now the first step to getting started is deciding which network you want to advertise with. The search network or the display network. Treating Google's search network and their display network as the same is probably the biggest mistake new AdWords advertisers make. So by taking this first step, you're already a step or two ahead of your competition. Now I'm not going to get into a lot of confusing detail about which is best for you and why, but let's just say that if you're simply doing lead generation or are offering any sort of free trial that doesn't require your visitors to pull out their wallet to pay for something, your highest odds of success are with the display network. And you should watch my getting started with the display network video. Now if you're selling products or require your prospects to actually pull out their wallet during that visit in order to pay for something, then you want to start out with the search network. I've seen more budgets get eaten alive by the content network than you can imagine, so make sure to watch the training video I've prepared about how to get up with the search network. And don't even think about experimenting in the display network until you know your metrics within the search network the display network will eat your budget alive if you're not careful. This is the single biggest mistake I see retail websites make when advertising on AdWords. Now, before you watch either of the other videos I've provided on this site, let's talk about setting up your account. Okay, so I've logged in, I've created an account, I'm not going to walk you through that, that should be pretty easy for you to do. The one thing I will say is if you already have a Gmail or a Google account, go ahead and use that username because that's the most convenient username for you to use. Otherwise you'll have to log in and log out of your account all the time, which is a pretty big inconvenience. So after you've given a username and a password, you'll be staring at a screen that looks a lot like this. What you want to do is go over to the campaigns tab and we're going to jump right in and set up a new campaign. Now don't worry, you haven't entered any credit card information yet. Google will not charge you a thing until you actually give them your credit card. But I'm just going to show you how to get your campaign set up with the best practices in place to make sure that your dollar goes as far as possible once you do start advertising. So, notice that we have no campaigns here and we just want to go right here and start a new campaign. So let's just say that we're in the weight loss industry we're gonna name it just that now remember earlier I described to decide whether you're in the display network or the search network and that depends on what type of products you're selling I typically label my campaigns search or display depending obviously on whether I'm doing a search campaign or a display campaign and hopefully by now you understand the difference between the two and how those can perform for your account now, typically you want to make sure that you're advertising in your home country. I, in this case, I'm selling weight loss products in the United States, so I want to target only the United States. If you do multiple countries, don't worry about it. You do not want all countries and territories. That's a more advanced topic we'll cover later, but for now, let's just assume that you live in, if you live in the United States, you want to target the, the country of United States. 
like I said, even if you sell worldwide, you do not want this option. We'll cover that later. So I'm assuming my my visitors are t are speaking the English language because my website is in the English language. So that's who I want to target. Right here is the most important part of your setup possible. This is where you tell Google whether you want search or display network. So uh, by default, they give you both, which you know they have good intentions and all, but they perform entirely, entirely differently. So do not ever, ever, ever run search and content in the same networks or in the same campaigns as each other. So instead of the default of all available sites, you want to let you choose. So if you sell physical products and want people to pull their wallets out right away, you want the search network and you want to disable the display network. Conversely, if you are just going for leads and you've got a free report that they can just enter their name and email address for, or if you're giving anything away that does not require your visitor to immediately pull out a credit card, you're probably going to do best with the display network. As far as logic why, I'll cover that in another lesson. That's entirely a, a different topic, but just trust me that those are the two options. As far as devices, phones do tend to convert at lower rates, and sometimes it's a good idea to exclude those. That's your choice. As of right now, they really only represent 2 to 4% of uh, searches out there, so I wouldn't worry a whole lot about that. Um, if you really, really are squeezing pennies, I recommend turning that off. As far as your bidding options, you want to leave it at manual bidding. Don't use an enhanced CPC. You want to remain in full control of your account at all times. So we're going to leave that and focus on clicks and you're going to do manual bidding. This is a, a big one as far as this is your budget per day. Now, you should just pick a number that you're comfortable with. I'm not even going to get into it. Obviously, if you're selling uh, multi-million dollar jet airplanes, then you know a $10 budget a day isn't going to get you very far. A single click will probably cost you that. But if you're in a typical market where you have $10 to $100 products, pick a budget that you're comfortable with. Five bucks, 10 bucks, $100, whatever you're comfortable with. And Google will stick pretty close to that budget. They won't exceed it very often. Occasionally they do, but not by very much. Maybe 10% they occasionally go over by. Position preference, we're just going to leave alone. There's nothing you need to change there. For right now, there's nothing you need to do with ad extensions. Um, all of these are pretty powerful, but those are more advanced topics. I don't want to overwhelm you with those. Just leave all these boxes unchecked for now and you should be fine. Unless you really know your market, you can leave this schedule alone. Uh, if you do know your market, and like for example, if you know the weekend is a terrible time for conversions, you can use this ad scheduler and turn off your ads on the weekends or evenings or whatever. But for right now, I do recommend that you just leave it on, running all seven days, 24 hours a day, uh, so that you can get a good idea of what traffic is like during the different times of day. Sometimes that graveyard shift traffic can be your best most profitable traffic and other times it can be your worst you don't know until you test it as far as ad delivery you, one thing you want to do is make sure to rotate your ads once we get to the point of writing ads I'm going to show you that, that you always want to write two different ads so that you can let Google test for you but you want to make sure that they're getting rotated you do not want them optimized by Google as far as a cap on impressions I personally don't ever worry about that that's taken care of through your daily budget which you set up here and in this case I'll just say twenty five dollars a day so I've never really seen a reason to put a cap on impressions and uh, I don't think you should either demographic bidding very doubtful that you'll get into this but if you are in the display network the display network only and you are selling something for men or for women you could experiment with this and exclude men or exclude women or exclude certain age groups keep in mind though that this also reduces overall traffic because if there are a lot of cases where Google doesn't know whether the visitor is male or female and you will lose that traffic so if it's a toss-up as far as whether you're after men or women go ahead and 
don't mess with that demographic field at all. So that, that's our first step. Some pretty easy steps, but pretty important ones that you want to change to make sure that you're stretching your ad dollar as far as possible. Hit the Save and Continue button. And there we are. We're going to start our first ad group. So in my case, I'm using weight loss as an example. So I'm going to say weight loss for women because I want to target just, I don't just want to go after the general weight loss industry. I want to go after a specific niche. And then they asked me to write an ad. Now this is pretty important. You want to actually write two ads. Okay, so I've written an ad that I think might work. Um, the key here is remember, remembering that I'm going to be picking keywords that are revolving around weight loss and around women. So I want to make sure that my ad is nice and optimized for that. I've got weight loss in my headline, I've got weight loss in my description, and I've actually squeezed uh, weight loss and women into my display URL. Those are three places that you can make sure to optimize your ad to make sure that your keywords are in there based on the keywords that we're going to be targeting. Now I'm not going to cover keywords in this section because how you enter those keywords will depend on whether you're in the search network or the content network. So I'm going to cover that in a different video and we'll just skip ahead to the next section. As far as picking your bid, 50 cents, 25 cents, a dollar, it really doesn't matter. Well it does matter, but um, you know, if in doubt, bid less. You can always raise your bids in the future. So in my case, I'm going to bid a max of 30 cents. And that's assuming I'm in the uh, search network. If I'm in the content network, I might bid a little less. I might only bid 20 cents. Um, it's not going to matter. What's going to matter is remember when you set your account settings, um, you were telling Google that you want display network or search network. So even if you put a bid here uh, in display network, if you told them only to deliver search bids, this, this won't matter. But that's just a demonstration of how to decide what to bid on. Like I said, if in doubt, bid less. You can always raise it in the future. And remember, we're going to come back to this later in another video, depending on what type of services you're offering, because that's going to determine what keywords you do. But uh, with that said, we can save our ad group and move forward. Now, remember, I said that a best practice is to always write two ads. So you, you want two ads whether you're in the search network or the content network. So one last thing you want to do before we conclude this video is to write another ad. So we're going to go to this Ads tab, and we're going to write another ad that's slightly different than this. So the best way to do that is we're going to do a new ad. It's a text ad. Now they're going to copy the existing ad that you have in there. And you can change anything you want. You can change the headline. You can change something about this. In this case, I don't think this is all that glamorous of a, an ad, so I'm going to just mix this up and do something different. Okay, so I wrote a different ad. I left the headline exactly the same, but I wrote an entirely different description. And to be honest, I think this one will probably do better. If, I, if you have a website that can guarantee results or has a money-back guarantee, it's always worthwhile to mention that. So there we go. I've written a second ad. And now, once Google approves this, which can take anywhere from a couple hours to several days, uh, but once they've approved both of these ads, it will take and rotate these two ads whenever people search for your keywords. And with time, you'll start to see some conversion figures here, and you'll you'll see which one is doing better. And it's pretty much a no-brainer. We'll show you that in another lesson down the road. But uh, that covers most of what you need to do in setting up your account preliminarily. Now remember, you have not entered a credit card yet. Uh, we're not going to have you do that until we've picked some keywords to advertise on and, and you've decided which network to advertise on, whether it's search or display. And most importantly, uh, I'm going to show you how you want to enter conversion codes so you can actually track your results. That's the most important part of these lessons I'm going to show you. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.